Hey, what's up? How's everyone doing today? This is Kiko. So today we are going to be looking at some pictures from an anime that has been getting very popular recently, and that is Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia. And it's a really good anime. Like if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. There isn't that many like slow, boring moments. Like I feel like every episode is like action packed. So definitely recommend it. But anyway, we're gonna be looking at some pictures of the male characters in My Hero Academia as if they were female characters. And this is all fan art, and I'm actually kind of surprised by how much fan art there is of My Hero Academia so finding like the female versions of characters wasn't that hard but anyway let's get into this video and the first character we're going to be looking at is the main character Midoriya now I think these two pictures are actually a good representation of Midoriya the right one I feel like is a better representation like I feel like that character is straight out of the anime but the left one is my personal preference I think like it's cuter and if I were to choose Midoriya to look like a female I would choose the left one so yeah I mean those are those pictures and let me know what you guys think which one do you like better and yeah let's go on to the next one alright so the next picture is of Midoriya's mentor slash teacher slash sensei aka the strongest character in the anime All Might so when I looked up fan art for All Might I think this one was the best picture like I think it's a good representation of All Might and I feel like if All Might was a female this is how he would look like so I don't really have any problems with this picture I think it looks legit 9 out of 10 would recommend I mean I don't know what else to say about it what do you guys think you know drop a comment let me know what your thoughts on it are. Alright, so next up we got Midoriya's rival, Bakugo. Alright, so both of these pictures right here, they look awesome. Like one of them has a comparison like side by side like a Bakugo and then a female Bakugo. So that's a good comparison right there. And then the one on the left where he's kind of like shooting out like the, the bombs from his hands. That one looks awesome too. Like I think both of these pictures are awesome. Like I can't decide which one is better. I think both of them are perfect. Like I couldn't really see like how someone will make it better than they already are. And a good way to see how Bakugo will look like as a female besides this fan art is by looking at his mom like Bakugo's mom in the anime looks exactly like Bakugo so that's a good way to compare and I also think that this fan art is also like a good way to compare like I mean they're, they're awesome like I got no complaints here you know let me know what you guys think alright so next up we got Todoroki and this is definitely a fan favorite there is a lot of fan art about this character and it's understandable like this character he's a really cool character one of my favorite characters personally I mean he has that dual fire slash ice power like I mean what else do you want you know that's uh, as good as it gets so these two fan artworks of Todoroki as a female I think they're pretty good like they're, they're a good representation um, the one on the left has shorter hair than the one on the right and the one on the right looks a little bit more mature and the one on the left looks a little bit younger um, my personal preference is the one on the right but I can't really say which one looks more realistic like if Todoroki was a female in the anime um, so yeah my preference is the one on the right but I also think the one on the left looks good and yeah let me know what you guys think like what's your favorite one all right let's go on to the next one and the next one is of Ida so this picture right here was like the only good picture I could find of Ida and it looks like the same art style as like the previous picture of Todoroki and I think the artist whoever made these two pictures like they're very talented like the pictures are really good like I have no complaints about them like their art style is really good and their imagination is really good but it seems to me like whoever made these pictures like they kind of you know ship a relationship between Todoroki and Ida for some reason I mean I don't really see like the connection between those two characters like in the anime they don't really um, interact a lot and yeah it's kind of strange but this picture of Ida as a female is a good example of how he would look like if he was a female all right so let's look at everybody's favorite character Mineta and this one's kind of simple it's kind of cute I mean Mineta already looks kind of like a girl so you know just put some cute little eyebrows on him and a schoolgirl uniform and boom you got a female Mineta so here's a picture of him as a female pretty simple pretty basic but I approve of it all right next up we got Aizawa aka eraser head aka the my hero academia students teacher so I couldn't really find many pictures of Aizawa as a female but this one I did find and I thought it looked awesome it looks pretty legit um I got really no complaints about it and if he was a female I would approve of this picture because you know Aizawa he's kind of a serious dude and he's ready to like get work done and this female version of Aizawa is like the same way like I'm not here to mess around I'm here to like kick some ass you know like no joking around you know where we're, we're here to get down to business you know let's get to it so picture of Aizawa as a female seal of approval all right so next up we got a picture of three of the My Hero Academia students and that is Eijiro, Sero, and Ojiro and yeah as you can see you know this is how they would look like as a female if you guys can't tell which characters these represent um the, the one on the right is kind of obvious you know it's like that one guy who can grow extra body parts the one on the left is 
like that one guy who kind of like makes his body like real hard. And the one in the middle, I almost forgot about this character. That's the guy with the tape, Cero, the one that could shoot tape out of his arms. So that's the tape guy. But he's not that popular. Like you don't really hear about him that much. But yeah, there's that picture. All right, and the final picture I'm going to show you guys for today is a picture of the villain and the leader of the League of Villains, Shigaraki Tomura, as a female. And I mean, since he has like that hand covering his face, you don't normally see his face. So I would think that it would be hard to draw him as a female, but I was kind of surprised that this artwork did capture him pretty well as a female. So this is him as a female and he still has like that creepy vibe and you can tell that he is a girl. So if he was a female, then I think this would be a pretty good representation of him. But anyway, guys, that was the end of this video. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. And I didn't really get to get pictures of like the rest of the male characters because either they're not that popular or fans haven't really drawn or been interested in drawing artwork about them so that's the reason i couldn't find any pictures i don't know but there was pictures of the female characters as male characters and if you guys want to see that video you know then you know subscribe because i'm gonna be making that video pretty soon but anyway thanks for watching and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out